Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, uh, watching my videos every day, showing me love and support, you know, helping me learn new things every day is, you know, I help you out is the same. And, you know, blessing your current path that you are currently on. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit so once again thank you so much for the love and support you have given me as well as my channel and you know, I hope you resonate with the content of my video. Today's beautiful meditation music I'm listening to is music to manifest abundance, universal prosperity, and golden energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Front Flame 101, working with your divine purpose for humanity. Yes, we are doing that each and every day. It, it could be you know, you, you're being polite to somebody, you know, when you're passing by. There's so many times that, you know, like if you go to big cities, like when I first came to Georgia, I'm living down in the South. I'm not used to people being so, you know, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, you know, why is these folks talking to me? They don't know me. But it's just like people are just, you know, it's like their Southern hospitality, as they call it. Or just saying blessings for somebody. I always tell people, have a blessed day. You know, even if I don't talk to them, because you never know what's going on with people in their lives. You know, we, we have, you know, worrying about bills, trying to pay, you know, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul, trying to figure out how we're going to get these bills paid, especially with this government shutdown. You know, it's just like, I feel so bad for people right now that are going through all that situation because, you know, them bill collectors ain't going to be hearing about your excuse about not being able to pay them bills. I'd be like, hey, I can't pay, pay rent this month you know i'm waiting for trump to go here and release my money to me but i'm just like shoot you couldn't have me working and i ain't getting paid uh-uh you call me back when that when them checks start running because <laughs> i ain't about to do it but it, it's just like not even that but it's, it's just doing stuff uh, you know i was just joking but still you know i'm sorry not sorry basically <laughs> but it's just like when you got things going on and just doing things for humanity just to make this world a better place we got to do that because it's just so much diversity people hating people because their skin color who the, what religions they are or you know what you know country they're from it's just like we we're stereotyping people just because of the way we see them. And that can be a sad thought because you never know who you're going to meet. And it's like, I remember one time I was working at this hotel and I had a really bad abscess one time. And I, you know, my face was just so swollen on one side and I looked so deformed. And it's nothing, you know, no, no offense to anybody who has, you know, deformities or anything like that. But, you know, if you had an abscess too, you know that mess is no joke. It just with the wind hitting you and everything else. And it was one of them days where all these inspectors and stuff were there. So I put this scarf around my face and you couldn't really see nothing. And I look like a Muslim. Do you know how much hate looks I got just for walking in the building that day? You're like, is she coming to clean my room? And I'm like, wow, I'm not Muslim. But it just gave me that chance just to see what Muslims, you know, Middle Easterns got to go through just because of what the headdress was, you know, I'm wearing. And I'm just like, cause my friend was like, girl, where you got that on? And I'm like, look at my face. They were like, damn, you know, I was like, I was in pain. But it's just like, we got to do better. And it's just, you know, it seems like some people are still stuck in, you know, those segregated days. Where there's certain parts of Georgia you dare foot to put, you know, step in, especially a certain time of night, because they're not about to play that. Or, you know, you're just feeding the homeless. I feel so good when I can be able to see somebody, like, who's out on the street, 
you know, they don't have no jackets on, you know, give them some clothes or, you know, go get them something to eat. You know, you feel bad. I know I do. I feel bad when I'm like, I don't have any money and they're asking, you know, can I get some money to get something to eat? And, you know, if I have it, I go in there just because, you know, there are some people out there be, you know, scamming folks to get money for drugs. Me, I'm that type of person. If you, you're hungry, I'm about to go get you something to eat. So you can't be, you know, beggars can't be great, you know, choicey like that. But, you know, I go ahead and try to help them out as much as I can. So it's just like when I see these YouTube videos that, you know, you see them, you know, um, going to like fast food restaurants. You, I want to be able to do something like that one day and go ahead and, you know, tip somebody $50 or something like that because you just never know, you know, those places really don't pay that much. You're trying to, you know, make ends meet or you see people out on the street, you know, being able to do a catering, you know, catering day where they can go ahead and get some food during the day. I want to be able to do that one day to where I can have it like every other week, you know, you can go to a certain spot where you can go ahead and feed them throughout the day. You know just get all this food and just you know just go ahead and feed the homeless because it's just like when you're out on the streets there are sometimes we complain about the most pettiest things you know we can complain about our car our clothes where we live at and this and this and that when these people are sleeping up under cars or sleeping in their cars or you know sleeping under bridges or sleeping next to a convenience store that's a sad thing to do especially right now it's so cold outside and we complain about the pettiest stuff where you know them people some of them people are happy would it be happy to go ahead and change you know trade lives with us like shoot you sit up here complaining about the raggedy house you live in it why don't you come over here and live on the street and see how much that is or we can there's times i complain about what kind of food in my house? I don't want to eat that what's in there mad because I don't have nothing to go get like Waffle House or, you know, um, what, like McDonald's or something like that. Well, I don't even eat McDonald's, but still, you know, something like that. And um, there's people out there trying to rub two pennies together to try to get something to eat. But anything that we can do to work to, you know, to, for our divine purpose in life, you know, I love what I do. It's just when I can bring a smile to somebody's face and knowing if they're crying tears of joy of, you know, Rosalie, you helped me put an understanding to my life. You know, I didn't know what was going on with me. I'm, I'm going through these shifts and, you know, I don't know where they're coming from. That could be a scary thought, especially if you don't know your empath. You'll be thinking you're going bonkers. Be ready to check yourself into a place trying to see about your, you know, your, your me mental health. That's not a good feeling, especially if you don't know where it came from. I know what that feels like walking around here, you know, um, I was like this since I was a child and it was worse when I was a child because I would see things I did not understand. You know, tell a five year old where you don't know, sit up here and seen a bullet with somebody's head, you know, bullet through somebody's head walking around and don't know what happened to them. Now that's a scary thought. I used to go to Germany and it was like certain places I would see the wars that went on back in the day, like in the 1800s, like, you know, uh, like the the 300, you know, the, the show 300, the movie 300, you know, Game of Thrones, stuff like that. That's the main reason why I don't watch stuff like that, because I remember stuff like that from back in those days. That's a scary feeling. So just for me to be able to do my videos and be able to help somebody out like that, that is a true blessing to me. And I'm going to keep doing my purpose. And it's just like, you know, people are telling me, you know, you got universe talking through, you got spirit guys talking through you. That is a blessing. If I know I can help anybody out in that positive form, any kind of way like that just to give them a peace of mind I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing if I can find something better to go ahead and be able to educate somebody as they educate me on that I love that too so go ahead and do your part on humanity on your divine purpose and I hope you were able to resonate with this content of the video I have, hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend and you know be responsible at everything you do drop me a line or two give me a thumbs up like it even share on your social media favorites you know drop me a line let me know you and hit the notification squad um and i'll go ahead and give you a shout out and um i'm gonna go ahead and get a shout out to stacy and brad much love to you one of my twin flame family families i love y'all and thank you for the beautiful comments you left me on my videos and i really truly appreciate that know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days and i will see you on my next video have a blessed safe weekend peace and be wild